We're in the Church of the Holy Trinity for the Toronto Homeless Memorial Hunger Feeders. Now we have some food over here that we're looking to feed the hungry. Now I'm Mr. Kevin Clark. I'm your real candidate for mayor. But take a look at what's happening. Now we're gonna show you more here about what we're doing. Now watch when we walk away. We're gonna show you what happens with Olivia Chow and those who support Olivia Chow when they think the people are not looking. Take a look, now focus over there. Those are the Olivia Chow voters. They're waiting. But when they think you're not looking, move closer. And then what are they gonna do? Watch. These are the Olivia Chow voters. Look what happened. Now, I bet you anything, Olivia Chow and her voters will call out their friends focusing on that child. And that child, the food that belongs to that child and those who are hungry, those are the voters of Olivia Chow. And Kevin Clark put together food for the hungry for the children. And look, look, there's Olivia Chow and her voters taking away at the food that belongs to the poor. Is that what you want? Do you want a politician, a candidate, Olivia Chow? <laughs> so Mr. Kevin Clark says, don't be a pigeon, don't be a puppet. The media has their puppet candidates. Olivia Chow, Mark Saunders, Mitzi Hunter, Brad Bradford, and Anna Beloy. Mr. Kevin Clark. You see, that's where they are sitting on the perch. And you know what they're gonna do? See what they're gonna do? Look where they're sitting. Olivia Chow voters and Olivia Chow will shit on the homeless. No, we don't want that. Yeah? We don't want that to happen. We don't want that to happen. Mr. Kevin Clark, your real mayor. God is with us. These awesome individuals were here to assist us in getting a tent together. We want to emphasize the issue of homelessness in the city of Toronto, and that's why Mr. Kevin Clark is here. I'm not Olivia Chow. I'm not going to call a press conference to talk about what we're going to do to prevent these kids from becoming homeless in the future. We are going to serve the needs of humanity, and that's why Mr. Kevin Clark is here. How are you? God bless. If you're hungry, we have extra food here. All right, so this is our homeless hunger feed out, Jack Layton, Kevin Clark, Homeless Memorial Summit and we invite all mayoral candidates to speak on the issue of homelessness in the city of Toronto. To God be the glory. Yeah. yeah. We got juice boxes, we have oranges. Yeah. Yeah, just take what you need, brother, you're good. So this is Toronto Mayor candidate Kevin Clark, uh, Jack Layton, Homeless Memorial Summit, where we invite all mayoral candidates to speak on the issue of homelessness. We've got Olivia Chow, Mark Saunders, Mitzi Hunter, Brad Bradford, Anna Beloy, and we've got them and their voters here eating the food for the poor. But Mr. Kevin Clark is here to provide food to those who are hungry, homeless, and in need. That's the new Toronto under Mr. Kevin Clark. The real mayor of Toronto and his deputy mayors, we are here at the Toronto Homeless Hunger Feed Out Merrill Debate Forum and we invite all mayoral candidates to come and meet the homeless. We talk so much about doing things for the homeless, but the homeless are not a bunch of pigeons. So how come nobody, hey, leave the food. How come, no, how come nobody is out serving the homeless? Mr. Kevin Clark, we serve the needs of humanity. This is our deputy mayors. God bless the children. Make these guys a couple sandwiches if they need, banana. You guys are, you guys are awesome. You're okay? Well, you guys know, you guys know you're now associate mayor to Mr. Kevin Clark, the new mayor of Toronto, because you serve the needs of humanity. And we're here to highlight homelessness in Toronto. God bless. You guys are awesome, but get the word out. The media is trying to fix the election to turn people into puppets. These kids are priceless. That's what it's all about. One love. Oh, yes, yeah. huh? Yeah. One, one second. Yes, sandwich. Well, these are what real mayors do. Mayors are not about wearing a fine suit and calling the media and having a press conference. Mayors are about taking out of your time to come down and invest in mankind. And that's what these candidates have done. So here it is. So we've got Tommy Singh, Toronto mayor candidate, or Nia Singh. We've got Peter Andrews. Toronto mayoral candidates. If you all want to meet your Toronto mayoral candidates, here they are. 
There you, nope, I'm Mr. Kevin Clark. I'm one of the candidates. This is Nia Singh. He's one of the candidates. Mr. An Angius and Mr. Mann. So we have Toronto Mural candidates coming out to the streets to feed out hunger and bring forth solutions to homeless death in the city of Toronto. But as you see, you don't see the media puppets. You don't see the six that the media has been telling you about. But what you're seeing are the real servants to the people. And these are the real servants to the people. And they're all qualified to be mayor because they're here to take care of the needs of humanity. This is first of two forms we will have it on homelessness in the city of Toronto. God is with you. Hello. Perfect. We also got peanut butter and jelly. Perfect. That's awesome. That works out really well. Yeah, we have all mayoral candidates. And uh, the mayoral candidates are making sandwiches for the homeless. Who's got the next hungry man? So you got juice, fruits. Come on, you guys. We got to put the hungry first. Like, uh, now, I'll eat that one. I'll eat that one. Oh, there you go. There you go. And juice. Juice. What a Absolutely. Orange, apple, and you're hungry? Yeah. But we have to remember, guys, the focus here is the homeless and the hungry, no matter what happens. You're not Olivia Chow, you're not Mark Sanders, you're not Brad Bradford, so don't cater to the talk, all right? Real mayoral Jack candidates serve the needs. And I'm Mr. Kevin Clark, there's our deputy mayor, and that's why I put together this function, so that people can see their real mayoral candidates. No, not the ones that are, want you to be a pigeon. Olivia Child Voters, out, 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 oh, Come on, Olivia Child Voters, go, 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 go. Okay, we just got rid of, we just got rid of Olivia Child Voters. All right, did you get juice, brother? Brother, you got juice and banana? And you got orange? God bless, Mr. Kevin Clark says, let's feed out hunger. You can do it. Oh, God bless, you're giving those? I was going to hand them over. Yeah, so just, if you like, you can put them there. We'll take them to the hungry. That's where we're going. And I could use one. I'm starved. So I'll leave one of these with okay. you guys. I'm going to go over here. Yeah. Guys there. God bless. Okay. Yeah, he's homeless too, though. He's homeless. Yes. Thank you. And I'm Mr. Kevin Clark, and I'm your candidate for mayor. And these others are candidates for mayors too. No, he's not. She's not. She can't. They want to get her in with that term. She can't beat Mr. Kevin Clark. That's why. Because. Huh? In two, three years from now, Chow can't beat Mr. Kevin Clark. Mr. Kevin Clark does what you do. He feeds the hungry. This is his deputy mayor's. God bless the children. There you go. Thank you all for serving the needs. God bless the good people for serving the needs of humanity. God bless you. They're, oh, look at that. You're filled. See, Olivia Chow, this is how you deal with the homeless and the hungry. Now you have an obedience. I, I don't want her to win. See, I just think she's going to win. No, she's it's, not. It's, 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 you're, it's, it's you're, it is rigged. We know that. That's why she's not here today. But you're going to vote Kevin Clark. Right? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You want? Yeah, can I get a candy? Can you guys get this girl a sandwich, please? A real sandwich? Yes. Yeah, but no nonsense, please. No, I want a real sandwich. Where do you get that from? You want one of these? You can have one of these, of course. See that? You guys have already shown you're fit to be mayor. Can I get a couple of candies? Mayor of what? Toronto. Mayor of Toronto. I am right. We are. Huh? Look at this. This is what happened. When I'm going to walk to the other side. Maybe there's some people. Yeah, and let them know. God. Thank you. So this is what happens when me real mayoral candidates get out here to deal with hunger. As you can see, nobody is hungry. And that man end up where he has an abundance. And now he's going to go tell others. And this is what the people of Toronto need. And we thank all the mayoral candidates for their great service. Okay. Is everything done? All the bread's done? Okay, so we just have to finish those ones. And then we're ready to run. Bravo. So these are our Toronto mayoral candidates. And they are here feeding out the homeless and the hungry. Hey, would you like fruits? Brother, would you like a juice? Yep. Uh, Mario, can you guys get this man a juice? Can, can, you, guys, can you guys get this man a juice? A juice and a banana? A banana, a juice, 
and, and orange. There you go. And God bless the servants of the people. God bless you. And that was Peter and Jess. He has just done more for the homeless than Olivia Chow would. <laughs> now, uh, jam alert, I'm running out. Jam Mario, welcome. Mario, welcome. Mario, jam alert. Oh, there you go, there's another one. There you go. <laughs> we, just got, we, got, we got saved by the jam. Olivia, the homeless is calling. Are you calling Olivia Chow? Do you, do you know Olivia Chow? No. She says she's going to help the homeless. Are you homeless? Where is he, Dad? Where is he? Where, Olivia Chow? Oh, uh, I don't know. I would, I, I will try to get her address for you. God bless. Meet your Royal Mail sandwiches. Making sandwiches. For those who are homeless or hungry. This is a trauma. Ironic. This, this is called the Jack Clayton Homeless Memorial Summit. Putting together by incoming to the mirror, Mr. Kevin Clark. But yet, these are the male candidates who are present. So, Olivia Chow, Mark Saunders, Brad Bradford, Anna Beloy, Mitzi Hunter said they're front runners for mayor. But we invite them today to feed out hunger in Toronto. And none of them showed up. So, if Olivia Chow, Mark Saunders, Brad Bradford, Mitzi Hunter, and Anna Beloy were serious about being mayor, they would be here today. This is a Jack Layton. Homeless Memorial Summit. And it's to find solutions to homeless death and to feed out hunger in the city of Toronto. But yet, what we're seeing is the people that the media ignore to tell you about. So they can tell you about Olivia Chow, they ignore Peter Andrews. So they can tell you about Brad Bradford. They ignore Steve Mann. So they can tell you about Mitzi Hunter. They ignore Chris L-A-N-G-E-N-F-E-L-D. And Langenfeld. And so they can tell you about Mark Saunders. They ignore Mr. Kevin Clark. And so they can tell you about all the wannabe mayors. They ignore Kami Singh. Like this memorial was put together near Singh. This memorial was put together in memory of Jack Layton by a Toronto mayoral candidate because that's how I met one of my best friends, Sam Collis, who is the largest property manager in Canada and the 95th richest man. He's been my mentor. So we put Jack Layton's name on the memorial as a memory. But yet, Jack Layton's wife don't even show up to address the homeless needs. These are the homeless. Hey, Ollie, what are you doing with my bag? That's my bag. Don't be emptying my bags, though. Oh, exactly. Yeah, but don't be emptying my bag. That's not your bag. Oh, yeah, it is my bag. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Right. Olivia Chow, this is the homeless. These are what you're here to deal with. Hey, don't go near the man's car, please. Who's car? See, Olivia Chow. Olivia Chow does not want to deal with this. Mark Saunders don't want to deal with it. Huh? Brad Bradford. Mid center. <laughs> no barium, no fucking forium, no infinity sign, no nothing. My Jaguar. No record me. I have a happy. Yeah, I'm Are you hungry? God bless you. So you see, Olivia's child. No, not me. He is. <laughs> Mr. Kevin Clark, the one they beat up when he ran for mayor. But we got all the other candidates together to show that if you're serious for mayor, then you're willing to go down to where the homeless people are and those less fortunate. And only Mr. Yang Field, Mr. Mann, Mr. Andrews, and Mr. Nia Singh showed up. And this I named the Jack Layton Homeless Memorial Summit. So why is not Olivia Chow here? Because she's in the media room having a press conference telling you what she's going to do. So she's too busy to come down and make food to feed the hungry. That's the difference. But, you know, so if you're hungry, and you're only hearing, and you're only hearing about six. Explain that. 
26th. June 26th. There you go. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, Neil. God bless. I got worried. I was worried. Like, oh, okay. No, I just didn't know what happened. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Jordan is not the best of all time. Yeah, and I don't know who is. Kobe. Kobe. Oh, my God. I, how about LeBron? Fuck LeBron. Well, your language. Your language. I want to see Kyle Lowy because he's a fuck. Yes. Yeah, but, but first, you're hungry, right? We the South now. Yeah. We the South. Our, our team went out. And our team went out. So, so of course, I'm going to. He's my boy still. Who, which one? Kyle Lowy. Kyle, where is he at? Miami. Oh, yeah? They're, they're in there. Miami is. But are you hungry? Yes. So let's eat first. Yes. So these are Toronto Mayoral candidates. And they're feeding out hunger. So is somebody going to help this hungry man? Who's going to feed this hungry man? Okay. We got a hungry man over here. Okay, who's got We got to put the hungry first. Yeah, there you go. So Olivia Chow, Mark Saunders, Mitzi Hunter, Brad Bradford, Anna Beloy. This is how you serve the people of Toronto. This is how you, as you know this, the, the only people are around. But there's no media. There's no media. You know why there's no media? Because their puppets are not here. Their puppets are not here. Olivia, the puppet chow, Mark, the puppet Saunders, and Mitzi, the puppet hunter. Brad, the puppet Bradford, Anna, the puppet Baloy. And who is the other puppet? Who is the other puppet? There is six puppets. There is six puppets. But there's the people servant. And that's what we are. So we're going to show you the people servant. And here they are. Tommy Singh. Chris Lanshaw. Are you hungry? Sir, are you hungry? Sir, sir, are you hungry? If you're hungry, there's food here. People serve. Smile, kids. Peter Andrews and Steve Mann. These are the people serving for mayor, not the media puppet. And I'm it. God is with us. Told you guys, you decided to vote for Olivia Chow. Look what happened. Now you're coming to Kevin Clark and the other male candidates to beg for food. Well, you should have known that Olivia Chow was just giving you lip service. Well, who's going to vote for someone riding on a coattail? <laughs> so this is a Jack Layton, Captain Clark, Homeless Memorial Hunger Feed Out Summit. And we featured Toronto male candidates. And the candidates who were present were Nia Singh. If I was not running, I would possibly vote for him. Chris Lansu. I would consider him for mayor if I was not the right mayor. Naturally, Kevin Clark. I would consider him for mayor, definitely. Peter Andrews. I would definitely consider him. And also Stephen Mann. Because they consider the poor, the homeless, and the hungry. And as you can see, you see, look at this. This is Olivia Chow voters now begging for food. When they should have known Olivia Chow was just giving them lip service, who's going to vote for someone riding on a coattail? Mr. Kevin Clark, we are here to make Toronto good again. And this is our homeless hunger feed out, the Jack Lake Homeless Memorial Summit. Are you hungry? If you need food, we have food for the hungry. So. Kevin Clark for mayor or any one of these other candidates, right? But realize that they will be a part of Kevin Clark's administration. So let's all make Toronto good again. And I will guarantee you that. I don't make promises, but all these individuals will be a part of our administration because they looked out for the poor and the less fortunate. So you see Olivia Chow, you have to put the gloves on before you can get the gloves dirty. But you put the gloves on and they don't get dirty because you don't go out to where the people are. Nice. Um, okay, at a very minimal charge to work space. Right. A bucket of Mr. Kevin Clark, we are here to make Toronto good again.
We're at the Toronto Homeless Memorial at the Jack Lee Homeless Hunger Feet Out Summit. And we invite mayoral candidates to help make sandwiches and distribute food to the homeless and the hungry. Today is not about Mr. Kevin Clark, it's about who's fit to be mayor. And you're not fit to be mayor if you're not ready to come out and assist those who are homeless and hungry in the city of Toronto. We're at the Toronto Mayor Jack Layton, Kevin Clark, Homeless Memorial, Hunger Feed Up, Mayoral Debate Summit. And we're here with a mayoral candidate. And what's your name, sir? My name's Steve Mann. Steve Mann. And why are you running for mayor, Steve? Uh, well, I think there's a lot that could be fixed with Toronto. I started originally with an interest in saving the West Island. Right. There's 850 trees that have been cut down by right. commercial now, development. Yes. But uh, I'm also interested in many of the other issues, like in terms of homelessness, I was thinking that we could do a lot to ease some of the, the constraints, like for example, uh, the zoning codes that say that you, you can't have uh, living within an industrial yeah, absolutely. facility. Yeah, absolutely. I'm just for you right now. Get me. My pleasure. Now, are you going to help today, Steve, in making sandwiches yes. for the homeless and the hungry? Yes. yes. Okay, so you have to get some gloves. Hey, thank you. Mary, you got a glove for Steve? Yeah, they're, they're actually they're a little bit buried under there. I can, I can put yep, it. so you have to help yourself. We're improvised. Yeah. We're not a meeting. Yeah, under, under the napkins? Yeah. So this is Steve Mann. He's running for Toronto Mayor. Yeah, I got and he's right here at Kevin Clark, Jack Layton, Homeless, Hunger, Feed Out Summit, Merrill Debate Forum. And we're here to put forth solutions to homeless death in the city of Toronto. We will ask Steve to give a three-minute speech later on on how he will deal with homeless death in the city of Toronto. And we thank him for showing that he is a serious contender for Toronto Mayor because anyone who will go down there to look out for those who are less fortunate, those are the ones you need in City Hall to serve the needs. Here comes Ms. Bonnie Yu, and she is here to assist Mr. Mann and Mr. Greco and myself. So we are going, this is the first of a couple other forums we're going to do where we're going to invite mayoral candidates not to talk about the solutions to homelessness and what they will do. We want them to come down and meet the homeless and the hungry in the city of Toronto. God bless Steve Mann. So we're going to make some sandwiches and we'll be here for a couple hours and then we'll go across and distribute to those in need. And are you a mayoral candidate? Yes, and tell us your name. My name is Peter Hendricks. Peter Hendricks. And Peter, why are you running for Toronto Mayor? Because I want to restore balance and equity in the city for all residents to realize. Okay, now, why are you here today helping us making sandwiches for the homeless and those less fortunate? So, I have already have volunteering experience with the homeless in different parts of the city, namely downtown. Right. Um, when the forum was offered to me to speak as a candidate for mayor on the homelessness issue, I have plans that actually can take 5,000 people off the streets within 35 calendar days. So, this is Peter... And just, yes. I do not believe he's going to be able to beat me unless he's just as great of a servant. But he will have an opportunity after we make all the sandwiches for the homeless and the hungry to have three minutes to tell us your solution for homelessness. And this will be the first of two forms we're going to have. The second form is we're going to invite the homeless community to a homeless form here. So this is the first form. We're going to do make the sandwiches. Then we're going to do the feed out, get everyone an opportunity to speak. Then we'll have a second form where we'll invite everyone but we'll also go into the homeless community and invite the homeless to be a part of the solution. So this is Peter Andrus, and are you going to help us make sandwiches? Absolutely. God bless. There you go. Well, we all have to share the same table. God is with us. And this is the Jack Layton Homeless Memorial Hunger Feed Out Summit of Mayoral Candidates in the City of Toronto. Okay, let me just take some image here. So we're at the Jack Layton Kevin Clark Homeless Memorial Summit. And we have some mayoral candidates here who are making sandwiches for the poor and the homeless. You've already met Peter. You've already met Stephen. Now we're meeting another candidate for mayor. Can you introduce yourself, young man, and tell us why you're here today? 
Chris Lyman does. And why are you here today, Chris, to assist those who are homeless and hungry? Well, the, the combination of running for mayor, and so you're out wherever uh, to meet people and to help the homeless and try and deal with the, the issue. Although, obviously, there's more to be done as mayor than you know, coming out here and just speaking to people doesn't get a lot of uh, solutions happening. No. So, so are you going to help make sandwiches today? I am. So these are your serious contenders for Toronto Mayor. The media may tell you the difference. No, I do not believe any of these individuals will be able to beat me because I'm an exceptional public servant. But if they do, that means that they're just as great of a public servant as I am. And I will support anyone who will serve the needs of humanity. Are you hungry, young one, or are you a candidate for mayor? Oh, we're having food for the hungry. So if you're hungry, you can have some food to eat. And these are the candidates. There you go, Mario. This man is hungry, so Chris can serve you or one of these guys. Yes. And we're at the Jack Layton, Kevin Clark Homeless Memorial Hunger Feedout Summit that involves Toronto mayoral candidates. And these are the candidates. This is Chris Lanford, Nia S Chris Langenfell, and this is Stephen. Steven, your name? Steve Mann. Steve Mann, and this is? Peter Andrus. Peter Andrus, and your name? Yes. And who are you, sir? You are? Nia. Nia Singh. Nia Singh. All right, so there you go. So these are the candidates who say they will be out there with those who are less fortunate. And my name is Mr. Kevin Clark. And we put this together to have a fear, unbiased voice for all candidates. So this is the Jack Layton Homeless Memorial Hunger Feedout. And this is our mayoral candidate forum, where the mayoral candidates didn't talk about solutions to homelessness. They were the solutions. So these mayoral candidates came down, and they made sandwiches for those who are hungry and homeless in the city of Toronto. And these are one of the candidates. And let's, what's your name, sir? Hello, folks. My name's Chris Langenfeld, and mayorchris.ca. And we know homelessness is, is obviously one of the, uh, the three big issues, the housing and homelessness, the issue of crime, and the issue of TTC. And with uh, the homeless, we know we're a rich city. We have the ability to look after the people. We should be doing a better job of, uh, of taking care of our people. And uh, we certainly, it's unreasonable to have uh, 11 or 12,000 people uh, uh, homeless in this city, and uh, we have eight to 9,000 spots for them to be in. We kick them out onto the street every morning, and then we're surprised that we have uh, crime that, uh, as they're running around on the, uh, the, the subway and the, the TTC and uh, dealing with that shit. So we have to get them into, into housing, give them a, a stable place to... Are you hungry, sir? You're hungry? There's food if you're hungry. Someone help this hungry man. Okay, you're good. So, sorry to interrupt you, Chris. So, what is your solutions in reference to bringing a, bring in, bring in a solution to prevent people from dying on the streets? Well, we have, uh, for, for the homeless specifically, it's, it's as simple as uh, switching over from this idea of shelters and uh, having people that were kicking them out onto the street every morning. We need to get them into a stable spot where they have a roof over their head. It doesn't have to be a fancy hotel room. That's our current latest solution where it's a $150 a night hotel room that we're paying full price for for some bizarre reason. And uh, then we're surprised that uh, the people that are living in these what used to be pretty fancy hotels, even if they are a little old, uh, they, they're not looking to uh, improve their life. They're quite happy to live in a hotel and, and live like that. We need to turn around and set them up with a roof over their head, a room like half the people out there in this city, maybe not half, but a lot of people that are paying their, their $500 a month to just have a roof over their head and survive. So, uh, now a so, question, Chris. Why isn't it tents? Why, isn't, why aren't these the solution? Why wouldn't you say people should live in a tent? It's only minus 30 degree. Well, the, the, uh, there's, there's part of the problem. You know, it's also the issue of, as we've seen with the courts, that uh, they say, turns out we created the parks for all the people of the city to enjoy. And so having a whole bunch of pe homeless people camping in the middle of the parks doesn't really make it conducive to running a good city. So now, let's get them into an actual place. Even if we have to, I will start with taking old office buildings. Nice. Right now we've got a lot of office vacancy. Nice. 
and warehouse space. And uh, I've worked with Habitat for Humanity. I've built dozens of homes in this city. I know that it wouldn't take us that long to be able to create sufficient I, I, I agree, rooms and at least have people so they can lock a door, feel safe at night, and not have to push a shopping cart. Nice. Now let's go over Mr. Greco's car, and we're coming over here to the needle exchange. Now normally we use mailboxes because a large amount of people are sending mails. But now we have needle drop boxes. So that, does that mean that we have an epidemic with drug addiction in the city of Toronto? How would you deal with that? Don't you how out of date that was? I thought it was a mail. <laughs> from over there, I presumed it was. Uh, <laughs> but don't put your hands in there because well, you'll get sticky. Exactly. Yeah. We, I mean, we do. We obviously have an issue, but the... The biggest solution from the point of view of government and leadership, the bi biggest thing we can do is provide some hope to people and, and give them a, an opportunity for a better life. So God bless. By giving the, the people that, you know, a lot of these people that are homeless, maybe it's a case of the younger people, we need to give them a little, little bit of uh, education, some job training. Uh, the people that have drug issues, we have to try and create uh, environments where they can be safe and they can be away from drugs and we don't have, you know, you hear stories of the shelters, some of the people there are the big dealers going on and we need to be, uh, you know, really taking care of them. So your name again? Chris Langenfeld. And how can the people reach you? Mayor MayorChris.ca. MayorChris.ca. Yes, Chris Lansworth, some great solutions. Langenfeld. Long and fell. We've got here Mr. Kami Singh, Mr. Steve Mann. Now, uh, Mr. Singh, how are you doing today? Now, today we're having a hunger feed out for those who are homeless and hungry. And I see that you are here today, which tells me that you are a serious contender for Toronto Mayor. You not, might not be a serious contender in the media, but you are a serious contender because you're here to assist those who are less fortunate. So tell me, why would you come here today? First of all, homelessness is a very serious issue. It right. drives all the other factors such as mental health and violence, right? When you're not homeless, you don't have a stable place to stay, it's going to mess with your mind, and if you can't get what you need with sleep and with peace of mind, that creates agitation, which may lead to violence. So this is Kami Singh, and Kami can tell you firsthand, because I am probably the most well-known homeless person in the city of Toronto, but this man has just spoken what it's all about. If you don't have the right mental state of mind. I'm not going to tell you who I am because this is not a media sanctioned debate forum where it's about me. This is about all the candidates who are running for mayor. I don't expect any of them to defeat me, but I do expect all of them to be a part of our administration. And if Mr. Singh is capable enough and a greater servant than me, then I would gladly serve behind him. If Mr. Man is a greater servant than I am or equal to me, then I will greatly serve behind them. But I do not believe it's their time. But, hey, only God knows and the people know. But the people must decide their mayor, not foreign influence. And what we are getting is foreign influence. Canadian made foreign influence with the media trying to determine who the people will vote for. So this is Kami Singh. We're going to cut off. Kami will get three minutes to speak shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you, tell, tell you, that is a nickname. what's the name? <laughs> Nia. Nia, Nia, Singh. Nia Singh. And I'm also here because of Kevin Clark. God bless. Highly respect you have to tell him my name. Oh, okay, so sorry. are you going to help us make sandwiches? Absolutely. Okay, so we just need some gloves. So that's Nia. Are you the guy with the broom? Yeah. That unbelievable. Remember, do not judge a public servant by the broom he carries to clean up the street because and because they come back in a dress later, don't expect them to be riding that broom. Okay? Unbelievable. Oh my you would know. You know why this no. I told him the story about how I became anti homophobic, eh? Okay. You have you guys ever heard this story? Okay. I'm not on the twenty one. You hungry? There's food if you're hungry. So I'm at under 21, and I met a guy named Tom, named Diana. Mm -hmm. And Tom is my best friend. Every single thing I tell Tom, Tom, he knew my old life story. He knew from my day of birth, he knew how I lost my eyes. He was the best friend I have in the world. So one day, my friends taught me into don't follow your friend into go homosexual bashing. So we go up to the park on Wesley and we roll them and then if somebody call the cops we have to chase off down. So one day we're going to George Street. We got kicked out on the 21. So we're going to seat now. That's where we're going to end up today. 
So we go out there and we start needling this homosexual. So yo, hey, I mean, I have the lip, right? So yo, what do you have on you that skirt, girl? What do you have on you that skirt? And then the, the, she says, what you gonna do about it, Kevin? <laughs> says, how you know Kevin Mark Clark? And what? Born March 21st, 1964. What? Grandmother, Amanda Clark. Grandfather, Vincent Clark. What? Then look. Oh my God! Oh my Bumba Ross clot! You hear the Jamaican go, Tom! Tom! What a blood clot to go on! Shocked as hell. Turned out, the person in the dress, in the drags on the corner, we were kneeling, was my best friend, Tom. I've never ever bashed anyone since that day. And our friendship lasts through it all. We were able to overcome to where me and Tom, we used to go out to clubs and where everybody wanted to hit on Diane because when she dressed as a girl, boom, boom, boom. Everybody used to wonder my buddy Bubba said, Kevin, man, I gotta get that girl for a nice up. Can't you get in and dance with me? So I said, Bubba, so Bubba, I said, Bubba, you don't know what you're getting into. Come on, Kevin, please. So I got Bubba and he saw he was a pimp and everything, right? So Bubba goes and I said, okay, Diane, my buddy Bubba wants it. I said, she says, did you tell him, Kevin? Well, of course I didn't tell him. He just wanted to dance with you. I said, Kevin. I said, what, will you? She said, Bubba. She said, she'll dance with you. So they get on the dance floor. I said, Bubba, there's the right song. She says, no, it's a fast song. I'm going to wait for a slow song. So a slow song comes on. So next thing you know, Bubba dance up to the dance floor. Bubba grabs Diana and starts dancing. Suddenly they're going on and the song gets halfway through. And I know it's Bubba starting to limp. And then when the song is finished, Bubba comes over and says, Kevin. I was just dancing with that girl and something poked me. What poked what, what you, Bubba? <laughs> so, but we used to always, we used to do some awesome things. She was, she was the greatest friend I've ever had and I'll never forget her. And then she got murdered by Marcello Palma in 77 Maitland. Her and two other transvestites getting bullets in the head. But you know, I can't tell them, but it was not for her and him. I would not have known what friendship is. And I would not know what judging people is. We need more people to follow your example. Because yes. So many people are unwilling yeah. to learn. But you have to remember, are... though, they all can't because there's a lot of Olivia Child voters, you see? All they're there to do is to eat and shit on people. Okay, we don't need that. But amazing. Oh, my goodness. Are you okay? I saw what happened to you at the yes. Daily Fed. I, <laughs> yes, I'm fine. The, the OIPRD says it's not in the public's interest to pursue it through charges. What, these are individuals that took the law into their hand and say that they can beat up anybody they want. So this is the Jack Layton Homeless Memorial on Graffita Summit featuring mayoral candidate and featuring a great servant, one of somebody who we asked to be one of our co-campaign managers. <laughs> Unbelievable. Amazing. <laughs> but you see, you have to remember, it is not the image of the individual that makes the individual. It's the content of the character in their heart. And I know this person has a good heart. I appreciate you for seeing that. Yeah, I do. So God. many people have forgotten my good works and they just... Yeah, they start to judge. God is with us and peace and love. Amen. One love. Merrill Candidate Summit. And we invite all Merrill candidates today. Are you hungry, young one? If you're hungry, there's food over here. Anyone who's hungry, there's food. Okay. Anyone who's hungry, come and get something to eat. So the purpose of the Jack Layton Homeless, Homeless Memorial Summit is for us to combat homeless death in the city of Toronto. The media made candidates don't want to include me in the race for Toronto Mayor. They don't want to include any of these other candidates because as you can see from each of these candidates, they're here addressing the needs of homelessness in the city of Toronto. We are here to make Toronto good again. We're here to feed the hungry. We're here to house the homeless. We're here to stand up to abuse of authority. And we are here to include everyone. Everyone. Because government belongs to everyone. Too many people are dying on the streets of Toronto because they're hungry. Too many people on the streets of Toronto freezing in tents. Don't get his license plate. Okay? A tent city is not a solution. Right? Because there's no bathroom. There's no toilet. There's no kitchen. There's no sink. Then when you come over here, these are popular mailboxes. 
they used to be mailboxes. Now they're needle drop boxes. Because it shows that addiction is a big problem in the city of Toronto. As your mayor, we are going to connect people with true harm reduction. We're going to get them food services, we're going to get them connected with family members, with loved ones, and we're going to get them proper housing. Because housing is a human right. I'm Kevin Clark. I'm running for mayor because I've heard the mayor of Toronto's job. I'm not the media made puppet. I'm the people's team. Good name? My name is Habiba Desai. And you're running for Toronto mayor? I'm running for the mayor of Toronto. And why are you here today? Uh, I love homeless people. All right, so you love homeless people. Now, what do you think is a solution to prevent homeless death in the city of Toronto? To give them free homes. To give them free homes. Yeah, uh, so immediately, as soon as you become homeless, you don't, that's just, that's going to be something that's going to be eradicated, so you're not going to be homeless. Right. You lose your home, you get a new one. Right, right, right. Okay, right, right. now how about people living in tents? Why is this not the solution? A solution, again, is home ownership. Right. So before Canada used to give out free homes, free lands, and now we're expecting people to put down a million dollars to get a home. Okay. Now we're going to go over here, past Mr. Greco's thing, and these are needle boxes. They used to be popular for males. Now they're popular for people to drop their needles in. What's your solution for addiction and homelessness? Yeah, so I say there's no shame in addiction, but at the same time, uh, if you are no longer able to help yourself and you start harming yourself, we have to put in tough love policies. So yes. that means that as a system or as a society, we have to step in to help you save your life. Yeah, so this is your name again? Habiba Desai. And she's running for Toronto Mayor. I'm running for Got, Toronto Mayor. And we're at the Jack Layton Kevin Clark Homeless Memorial Summit to prevent homeless deaths. And I would like to shout out Kevin for always standing up for the people. God bless you. One love. All right, so somebody get this man food. God bless you. This is one of the legends of downtown. A super legend. Water? You need sandwich? One or two? Well, okay. Do you need a, a, a juice? Do you need ban orange? Banana? All right. Yep. Who, who's got the bananas? And give me a hug. Long time no see. This is my whole time vet. I've known him over 30 years. You good? Look me up. All right. There you go. Look me up. Anything else you need? No. Nope. We can only give you food today and a cigarette if you like. Would you like a cigarette? Hold it. Let me find one here for you. This is a legend. A Toronto Street legend. Yes. It's a legend. You know that, you're a legend, okay? And, when, and you better not die because that means I have to do a promotion about your death because you're a legend. One love, that's my legend. One love. Thank these mural candidates. God bless and the servants. One love. Down with the mural candidates. And the media puppets. And the media puppets. And the people's candidates. The real mayors are here. The real mayors are here. There we go. Here for the people. Here for the people. There we go.